Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in the dark grim hollows of XCOM Legendary Iron Man with double enemy squad size, yellow alert and around 100 really 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 nasty mods. One of which introduces the Exalted Custodians <coughs> or Custodians in general. And the one person that I'm uh, particularly interested in is the Exalted Custodian Grandmaster because um, I put my eyes on a research where we can research their armor. And my hope is that we can get a big fat um, breakthrough to get these armors and hopefully increase our survivability. It's not only Exalted Custodians, there are also Assassins, Elite Spectres, Venators, so quite a bit of mechanical units, and on top of that, Chrysalids plus Psionics, uh, which means we need to bring a potent squad. And what I'm thinking in this case is a few Mind Shields for good measure. Okay, that makes sense. I am wondering if I should bring a Mimic Beacon for once. Let's try it instead of uh, the Mind Shield. We got Russ here to kind of lead that team. Zirkim finally wants his upgrade from Major to Colonel. His bondmate Endors is a Colonel for a long time. We got a deployable turret here, which I'm quite fond uh, to use. And we got Shadow because it is a Sabotage the Transmitter mission. So. I need someone who can beat the timer on this uh, thing. And the hopes is uh, that uh, that the turret uh, will give us exactly uh, that uh, with squad size uh, side and the um, Reaper. We should be able to destroy two of uh, the transmitters every round and the Reaper at some point will just infiltrate and um, shut down the system. Until then we will build up a very solid uh, defense base and hope that we can survive the onslaught. It's a very difficult mission, so I'm expecting nasty, nasty enemies. Hey, we landed on a rooftop. And look at that, we already see the evil Venator and his elite specters at the target zone. Let's take a scout and see what we're dealing with. I have found our objective. Okay. Uh, a, a lonely chrysalid infector. Something is wrong. This guy does not come alone. Something is just not right. Russ moving over here. Wait, 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 wait. What are we seeing here? Just saw a chrysalid here. I will go. Uh, it might be down here, but it actually looks like the guy is standing right there. Maybe we're dealing with chameleons, which would be quite dangerous. I would not take them lightly. Good. For now, just a normal few overwatches. Next turn, we're going to start the actual fight. Chrysalid Chameleon right here. Better be careful with those. And look at that, another chameleon right over here. Again, we got to be a bit careful with those. So, four starters. Let's just put up a nice little kill zone. Good. Then shortly after we did that, Let's parkour for combat presence. So I will need an extra action from you 
to deploy a turret. And the question is where? Right here seems good because it has three of uh, the transmitters inside. And I know that because turret just has squad side, just like uh, the sniper itself. But I'll leave one shot open for now. Okay, wait, we saw there's a pack down here. Yeah, there is a pack down here. Let's start this as well. Oh, you're telling me I can't remote start from there? Hmm. Uh. I mean, it's not unheard of that this here is line of sight, but okay, I guess, whatever. Zirke moves up, hopefully close enough for us to lob a grenade down there. Yes, it is. Thank you, because that's a double explosion. And that double whammy is going to take out one or two. We just see that there were chameleons right next to us. All right, a couple of things. First things first. Um, Zirkim gets the threat assessment. That allows to give him an overwatch back. We could theoretically hit something, but I... Uh, are we going to go for a Mimic Beacon instead? Chameleons are not to be trifled with. I already mentioned it. They're actually pretty serious. Let's get them here. That prevents damage. It also allows us to double trigger on the kill zone a little trick. If you pull a pack this turn, uh, kill zone will trigger. And if they move on their turn, kill zone will trigger again. Plus we do have technical analysis, which of course makes it more beneficial for us. To let them trigger on their turn and uh, on our turn and not on theirs. Just for good measure, let's kill this guy. No reason not to. Overwatch and Russ Overwatch is... Yeah, I'm just going to use the turret shots to buy us more time because that's what we are going to need in this mission. A lot of time and patience. More chameleons. And some enemy who effectively had an animation and whenever you have a cinematic animation rest assured that that means no good for us the kill zone was a huge success
Thanks to the expanded magazine, we have shorts at end. Wow, that was a nice kill zone. I love it. But moving over here, I'm tra trying to trigger out the chameleon down there. Not very successful, though. There's another chameleon over here. Again, not very successfully triggered. You can't handle me. Hmm. Free reload. I think we're going to go for that chameleon. I'm just trying to figure out how we can discover the chameleons. Trying to use shadow in order to do that. That clearly didn't work out. The normal enemies are not a problem, but the chameleons certainly are. Okay, we need the Reaper back over here so that he can at least scout out one chameleon over there. We won't be able to kill it, but we will be able to injure it. Good hit. Overwatching here. Uh, I mean, short of just lopping a grenade somewhere, I don't see how we can really discover them. Maybe a shortcoming where I need to use battle scanners in the future. We're dealing with three of them, which is a problem. And if they are piling up on a single soldier, then they could uh, sh uh, shoot him from 100 to 0. Very good. That thing seems to be somehow there, uh, but now shit is getting real. The Advent uh, Exalted Custodian Grandmaster, the one that we came here for, is about to enter the scene and more chameleons are annoying us. This is shredding, which is hugely negative. Hmm. So the shredding piece sucks because that's three po uh, more uh, points of damage on Raz every single time. Plus, I think he lost his armor on top of it. So really, really bad. 
Let's a kill on the other hand. And death from above triggers. I think he's already in a good position. We need to end the turn with healing us a second time. That assassin is not a one-shot kill, so might as well try to get him closer. Okay, never mind. I do have a backup plan. <sighs> that is stupid. He has moved over. This should spot him out. But it doesn't. I'm still not fully understanding the mechanics of these guys. You definitely need to deal uh, with them immediately with a lot of damage. Elsewise, they are continuing to be a problem. So this destroys two of uh, the uh, two of uh, the transmitters. Also sets up the collector's assassin for a kill. Golden boy moves up. Still can't find these stupid enemies. It can't be that difficult, can it? The guy is down here. We need to walk literally ba uh, past them. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that custodian yet. Can you spot them out by just going over the fields? I was pretty sure there was one back here. They are completely... And 100% invisible, apparently. Sucks that they did take out that counterplay option. Because that way we would have at least uh, had a chance to find out where they are. Pretty sure there's one over here and one over here, but unless I'm walking right into them, I'm not sure how to spot them out. Not that way. Alright, Sirkim is overwatching. Russ is healing himself a second time. He has shredding on top. Not sure if healing cures shredding. It might, it might not. This would be a good question if any of you know for sure whether it does. Please let me know. I am taking a new position over here. The objective is inside, Commander. 
We got plenty of time to get the objective. For now, it's just survival. Interestingly, the Chameleon did not put out uh, the Reaper. Venator. Misses. Okay. Well, we can definitely explode uh, these guys with a remote start. At least two more chameleons are running around. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fantastic. That will be good. And a couple of chrysalid hive warriors, more chameleons. Yeah. Things that you don't want to deal with. Let's check. Yep, we can hit all of uh, these guys. Good. This time I'm not going to do the same mistake again. Claymore down there. And this is a nice double explosion. For 21 points of damage and a lot of shredding. 21 points of damage times 4. And the Grandmaster is active, well and alive, as he should. Venator down to 8 hit points. Where's the other Venator? Where is the other Venator? 80% shot misses, not good. That's a 7% shot. So I can... Don't be such an optimist. Well, look at you! All sneaky. We're definitely going to give one aid protocol over here for an overwatch. That is threat assessment for free. This is a kill. Implacable. For free movement, then free reload and getting ready for more. Another chameleon. Where's the second Venator? I think he's down here. That Chameleon is really in the bad spot of everyone. Which sucks because we're now going to take the wrath of two Venators. I had an idea of Comet uh, uh, focus to here. 
then basically advance teamwork to here and another shot onto that one venator unfortunately that idea got buried when we were not able to hit the chrysalid seven percent didn't really ex uh, expect uh, to hit him and we're going to take a beating from the venators i hate them with a passion one of the my least favorite enemies for sure nice he had two um if in case you missed it he had two overwatch shots one from technical analysis and one from his actual overwatch right uh that means the first one into lightning reflexes the second one killed the elite specter he got a promotion to colonel which means our side goal of getting him established has worked out well Continuing to harass the Venator. Trying to look down, but we're not finding anything down there. Oh, we're finding an Advent Custodian Grandmaster. All right. Something is blocking this, um, and that can only mean there is a stupid alien right there. Well, now it's unblocked. How? What? I promise this slot was blocked just a second ago. Golden boy moves up. Can't find any of the aliens. Overwatching with Zirkim. Russ overwatches, turret overwatches. We're just doing a big fat overwatch trap here for now. And reload on Golden Boy. Infector moves in. That guy should easily die. Sodian Grandmaster. In his bulwark stance uh, my understanding is he takes less damage in the bulwark stance and a couple of other uh, features such as what i found out close combat uh, fighting meaning that uh, he can hit uh, that he can hit uh, everyone in four uh, squares with his shotgun Maybe he's regenerating armor, at least it looks like that. Finally. This might scout out that chameleon. Yeah, I figured it would be here somewhere. Tries to run away like a coward. Yeah, I guess the counterplay against uh, the chameleons is just 
really really diligent um, moving so like you can always uh, spot them out everybody needs to move so what we're going to do is endors here oh no here we already overwatched well that's too bad not the end of the world we can use combat panis next turn we do have free reloads we are in full cover everyone is so might as well just wait for that custodian grandmaster to get his heavily armored ass up here and he's not disappointing us he's doing exactly that Good, this time we're prepared. I'm going to lose another unit to these Grandmasters. Moving over. Chain shot to really prep him nicely. Fantastic, I like it. The turret retaliates. The custodian has 20 defense and another 20, so 40 defense. Double coded that defense in there, so his his normal way of existing is he is treating everything as if he uh, as if he would have um, full defense. That's stupidly overpowered. But, thanks to our many, many turns that we have reserved and the nice little trap that we laid. Okay, well, shouldn't speak too soon. Very good, very good. And if possible, I'd like to get that loot. Because I think that might be something incredibly good. There must be another Venator down here somewhere. So I'm just going to search and see if we forgot something down here. Answer is no for now. It's a bit of a disappointing loot for such a massive enemy. Okay, now is the time to move forward slowly to the sledge. I think there are still a couple of chrysalids left over. And we're semi running out of time, so we gotta be a bit faster here. So, what we're going to do is we're doing a bit of an old trick. Let's see if I can pull it off. Reloading. And we're doing kill zone. I would like to trigger that pack. Not sure if I can. Golden Boy is amongst the closest and <coughs> he couldn't reach them. Good. In which case the trick is a bit mute, but yeah. Doesn't matter. All right, 
We finally triggered them. That means they do have tactical analysis, can't move as much. And the trick is really kill zone. Triggers on your turn and it triggers on their turn as well. And that again uh, means I get two shots out of every single shot that I'm taking here. Grappling over, thanks to parkour. What I always liked about uh, the uh, skirmishers is their incredible speed. Good, overwatch for Zirkim. We're passing that on with a protocol. And just in case something happens back here, Russ is also overwatching um in terms of yeah softening them up why not 35 percent is not really a lot but might as well try our luck one out of two is a really good result and that's some more damage like it can't kill this guy could almost kill this guy. Uh, are we going to banish? Yes, no, maybe. I think we're just going to overwatch. I keep stealth for now. They're not healing that much damage and we can heal if need be. That was the right decision because there's still a chameleon. Nice little hit. Now there's the second iteration of kill zone, and as you can see, this time we actually killed them. Not sure what adrenaline rush does. But it sounds awesome. Good. We've heard that uh, there is a chameleon here. So we're just moving and trying to discover it. Interesting. Uh, we are being revealed. Although the preview has not indicated that we would be revealed. Here I come. You can't handle me. Toss me some ammo. Ready to go. Okay, we're almost there. For now, I would just overwatch. Yeah, there's one more chameleon. And an infector. Very good, there's still a chameleon somewhere. Okay, the chameleon is down here. We just uh, saw that shimmering through. Apparently they don't run away when they're burning, or they cannot recloak.
Okay, and it's time to plant the C4 and hopefully end the mission. Not sure if there are any remaining hostiles, I might be wrong. Oh, there is. Okay, there is apparently one guy down here. <sighs> A bit like Terror from the Deep with Hide and Seek. Where there was one alien in the last lower section corner of some remote location and you were just looking and looking and looking and looking. Sometimes for up to an hour. Worst case scenario, that guy then had bugged and spawned in a location which was not, um, which was not really officially movable too and unless you did have certain rockets or indirect damage the mission just failed there's the chrysalid shredding damage shot Okay, so you're telling me, well, you're saying we can still spot him out. <laughs> All right, let's banish him just uh, for good measures. What a mission. Good. Let's uh, take a look at all about the promotions and um, the consequences of countering this one. So first and foremost, Sirkim, the last member of uh, the, B, uh, the B team, has finally gotten his colonel rank. Well done. Good job. Golden Boy got an upgrade here as well. And... Russ had hit a milestone with 100 kills <laughs> and or 140. Holy moly. Very good. So things are looking good. Advanced repeater, quite a few corpses, specifically the exalted Grandmaster corpse is important. And we countered Thunder Mountain. Plus we got ourselves a scientist. Very good. So far, so good. And unless there are immediate dark events, we should be fine for now. I think so. Hey, okay, so what are we going to do next? Are we going to go for more assorted loot or are we increasing intel hmm i don't know have i checked uh, the black market lately i think there was a superior autoloader in here market is open. Uh, for 30 intel i think that's a fair price get it and that works well. Sorted loot could be helpful. Making contact here is 160 intel. That's maybe a bit too much, but I think we now have the money to actually install the relays, get the other continent bonuses. 
and increase our contacts further. Uh, that might be bad that you got a promotion there, buddy. Let's hope we can still train you. Good, so what's available? Common intelligence, weapon upgrade, engineer. This wouldn't be bad. I would love to do this here with Hogbite. How many more days do we have until the end of the month? Three. That would actually be a decent mission for Hogbite and one of the Psyops to form, form a soldier's bond. Hogbite gets a free mobility out of it on top. This isn't really a good reward, so we're not going to go with that. And we don't need the promotion now, so... I think that soldier bond would actually be helpful. Would we be okay not taking Hogbite onto the mission, but instead go with the Reaper and maybe another high level soldier? I think you could argue that that is okay. No soldier wounding, that's important because there is a bug if you're if you're wounding your soldier during such a mission. Um, and it, and that's only for Psy operators, by the way. If you are wounding Psy operators during that mission, they need to uh, they will bug out and uh, the Psy training won't work anymore. So, let's just be sure that we're okay. So, I cancelled the training, lost three days. It's not the end of the world. And instead, do this. And now he's ready. Matt Kisista will be his bondmate. And the problem here is one of the rookies, Bastard, has now been promoted. I don't like that. I hope we can still train him. I have the feeling we cannot, but it would be good if we could. Good. Level 3 bond training. That, I think, will give us now the, the necessary time. We got uh, the team... Completely ready, right? Grell, Sonar, Deli G, Cannon. I mean, Hogbite Hawk, is not, not available, but Shadow. And whom else would we pick? Would it be inappropriate Murphy to run with the guys? Double Specialist, I could see that. Sure, why not? I mean, that team would definitely be ready. And now, let's pick the target, shall we? So we got a couple of bases. We got one here. With a lot of bio enemies. That'll be interesting. We got one over here. Lead Biomech, Biozerker. Advent Exalted Custodian Grandmaster. I like that. Because we're currently collecting their corpses. So that wouldn't be bad. What about this facility here? Perch, Spark, Bishop, Trooper. Uh, that isn't bad either. Exalted Custodian Grandmaster here. I think we're just going to take this one. Uh, it takes off two blips as well. And I am low-key um, trying to get those Exalted Custodian Grandmaster corpses because I hope that the research will actually be valuable. 
So we're going to do that uh, in the next adventure. And if you want to become a custodian exalted grandmaster, then the minimum that you need to do is click the like button. Uh, it is part of the regiment. I was told when they are training, they need to click the like button at least a thousand times. So try that and maybe you are developing in the same direction. Take care and have a good one. Bye bye.